He gave the world light, but died in the shadows. He saw a future where power traveled through the air, where machines obeyed thought, and where war could be ended by a single beam of light. The world called him mad. But today, we speak into wireless phones. We watch invisible waves beam across the sky. We power cities with the very current he fought to prove. And yet, when he died, broke and alone, not a single bulb lit in his name. This is the story of Nikola Tesla, the forgotten genius who invented tomorrow. Nikola Tesla was born at the stroke of midnight on July 10th, 1856. During a thunderstorm so fierce, the sky looked like fire. The midwife said, he will be a child of darkness. But his mother replied, no, of light. His birthplace, Smiljan, in the Austrian Empire, now Croatia. No one knew that night. The world had just changed forever. Tesla's father, Milutin, was a Serbian Orthodox priest, strict, sharp, and a powerful speaker. His mother, Georgina Juka, never went to school, but she invented tools and memorized epic poems by heart. Tesla often said he got his brain from his father and his inventiveness from his mother. Their home was full of books, faith, and old world discipline. As a child, Nikola didn't just imagine things, he saw them in full color and motion inside his mind. He could turn objects around in his head without touching them. If he saw a machine once, he could rebuild it from memory, bolt by bolt. Adults thought it was strange. He thought it was normal. In school, Tesla stunned his teachers. He could solve advanced mathematics problems in his head. He didn't just memorize, he understood. Sometimes, teachers accused him of cheating because he never showed his work. But he wasn't cheating, he was thinking differently. His brain moved faster than anyone around him. Tesla believed nature was a giant engine, full of energy waiting to be tapped. He felt electricity in the wind and in his fingertips. He was fascinated by the way light, sound and movement connected. He saw the world as a machine, and he wanted to understand every part of it. Tesla began studying engineering at the Austrian Polytechnic in Graz. He studied physics, mathematics, and mechanics. He became obsessed with machines that used alternating current. He later enrolled in Prague's Charles Ferdinand University, but never earned a degree. He dropped out, but not because he wasn't smart. He was just beyond the classroom. Tesla pushed himself too hard. He suffered a nervous breakdown. He stopped eating, barely slept. His scholarship was revoked. His family thought he might not survive. But even in that darkness, he kept seeing strange machines in his mind. One of them would become the invention that changed the world. It came to him like lightning, a machine that could spin using invisible energy, the rotating magnetic field. He saw every part of it. He didn't need to draw it. He knew. Tesla whispered to himself, I've seen the future, and it spins. In 1884, Nikola Tesla arrived in New York with just four cents in his pocket and a head full of inventions. He didn't know anyone. He didn't have a job but he had a letter of recommendation addressed to the most famous inventor in America, Thomas Edison. It said, this man is a genius. Edison gave Tesla a job fixing broken machines, ones no one else could fix. Tesla worked day and night, rebuilding DC dynamos and solving problems no one else dared touch. Edison promised him $50,000 if he succeeded, a fortune at the time. 
But when Tesla asked for the money, Edison laughed and said, You don't understand our American humor. Hurt and betrayed, Tesla quit. He had no job, no income, and no place to build his machines. He dug ditches for a living, carrying ideas for electric motors in his coat. He said, My high education in science seemed like a mockery now. But Tesla didn't give up. He worked alone, building the world's first practical alternating current motor. Unlike Edison's DC, Tesla's system could send power across great distances. When it finally spun to life, Tesla whispered, It's alive! Industrialist George Westinghouse saw the power in Tesla's invention. He offered Tesla money, patents, and a lab, and most importantly, belief. Together, they launched the alternating current revolution. A true partnership was born, science and business working together. Edison fought back, hard. He told the public AC was dangerous and deadly. He even electrocuted animals in public to scare people, including an elephant named Topsy. The press called it the War of the Currents, but it was really about power and fear. In 1893, Tesla and Westinghouse lit up the world's Columbian Exposition in Chicago using AC power. It was the first time most people had ever seen electric light. The world was stunned. Edison's DC couldn't do that. Tesla had won with science, not scare tactics. In 1895, Tesla and Westinghouse finished the first hydroelectric power station at Niagara Falls. It sent electricity all the way to Buffalo, over 20 miles away. This was Tesla's dream, clean, endless energy from nature itself. For the first time in history, the power of a waterfall lit up a city. Tesla wanted more than motors. He built the Tesla coil, a machine that could make lightning in a box, it created huge sparks, showing that energy could move without wires. This was the beginning of something much bigger. Tesla showed that power could travel through the air. He lit lamps with no wires. He made sparks jump across rooms. He dreamed of a world where towers could send energy to homes, ships, even airplanes, all without cables. In 1898, Tesla shocked the world again, this time with a remote-controlled boat. He called it a teleautomaton, but people thought it was magic or trickery. No one had ever seen a machine controlled through radio waves. He had just invented robotics before the word even existed. Tesla wasn't done. He began building the Wardenclyffe Tower, a huge machine to send power across the Earth. He believed it could give free electricity to everyone on the planet. This was Tesla's greatest idea and his greatest risk. Then came a blow. Guglielmo Marconi claimed the invention of radio. He used Tesla's own patents and got the credit. Tesla was furious but broke. He couldn't afford a legal fight. Decades later, the Supreme Court ruled Tesla invented it first. Tesla begged his investor J.P. Morgan for more money to finish Wardenclyffe. But Morgan realized Tesla wanted to give the world free power, no profit, no control. He pulled the funding. Without money, the tower stood unfinished. Tesla's dream began to fall apart. Wardenclyffe was never completed. Tesla couldn't pay workers. The tower was later torn down and sold for scrap. His dream of wireless energy for all collapsed. But in Tesla's mind, the idea never died. He left Wardenclyffe behind, but not the vision. Tesla still believed his theories were right, just ahead of their time. He once said, the present is theirs. The future for which I have really worked is mine. He walked away, carrying that future in his mind.
Nikola Tesla was unlike anyone else. He hated touching hair, refused to shake hands, and obsessed over the number three. He believed pigeons spoke to him, and once said he loved one. To many, he seemed mad. To Tesla, he was simply tuned to a different frequency. But Tesla wasn't completely alone. He befriended great thinkers, like author Mark Twain, who adored his machines. Twain often visited Tesla's lab, calling it a magic kingdom. They shared dreams of a better, brighter world and of fame that always seemed just out of reach. As Marconi grew richer from radio, Tesla fought quietly for credit. He had the original patents, but no money to keep fighting in court. In 1943, months after his death, the US Supreme Court ruled Tesla was the true inventor. But by then, the world had already moved on. In his final years, Tesla claimed to invent a death ray, a beam that could destroy armies. He said it could end all wars, but no one saw it work. Governments were curious, some were scared, but they also thought he had lost his mind. Tesla lived his last years alone, drifting from hotel to hotel. He often couldn't pay. Hotel workers let him stay anyway, out of quiet respect. He fed birds daily, saying one white pigeon visited him in dreams. The man who lit the world, now nearly forgotten in its shadows. On January 7, 1943, Nikola Tesla died in room 3327 of the New Yorker Hotel. He was 86, alone, and broke. Soon after, the FBI arrived and seized all his papers. No one knows what they took, or why. The secrets sparked wild stories. Some said Tesla built a time machine, others believed the government used his weapons in secret. His life became part science, part legend. But one thing was clear, people were finally paying attention. Today, Tesla's name is everywhere, in science, tech, and pop culture. He's celebrated in schools, books, films, even the car that drives itself bears his name. His dreams of wireless power and smart machines, now real. The man the world forgot, helped build the world we live in. If this story moved you, even a little, please consider liking the video, especially our loyal subscribers who see it first. It really helps the algorithm share it with more people who might need to hear it. And if it didn't resonate with you, we'd still love to hear your thoughts. Honest feedback helps us improve and make better content. If you'd like to see more stories like this, you know where to find us. You can also reach out on social media. Links are on the screen and in the description. We'd love to connect. Thanks for being here. Stay thoughtful, stay curious.